Hey guys, we're going to talk about tongues. If you haven't received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you need to. Unless you don't want to do anything for God, then you don't need it. You just, If you just want to sit in your pew and uh, do a little hymns, listen to a sermon, don't want to do anything, you don't need it. But if you do, if you are wanting power, that's what tongues is for. Power to witness. So speaking in other tongues is the voice of the Spirit coming through your soul. 1 Corinthians 14 and 14 says, For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. When we are praying from our spirits, we are praying with the mind of Christ. How cool is that? Using our most holy faith, Jude 1 and 20. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So too often our minds... With all the wrong thinking that we have, we haven't renew our, root our, renewed our mind. And it has a lot of unbelief that can get in the way. So praying in tongues bypasses our minds and allows our spirits to have unhindered communion with the Father. Unhindered communion with the Father. I want that. Unhindered communion. Nothing I say or think can get in the way. It's a perfect prayer. Jesus on the main line. Have you ever heard that song? Tell him what you want. I love Jesus on the main line through speaking in tongues and con just um, talking with my father and having direct communication unhindered. Unhindered. So there's a direct correlation between speaking in other tongues and wisdom and revelation. If you want wisdom and revelation, speak in other tongues as much as you possibly can. We need to realize how vital this is. Jesus said he wanted us to have it. He said it is to us, to our children, and to as many as the Lord our God shall call. That's who it's for. Once you receive it, you need to do it as much as you can. The baptism is for power. Speak in tongues. If you don't know what to do, speak in tongues. Ask for a interpretation. Get a pen and paper ready. Write it down when the Holy Spirit gives you. May not, he may not give it to you right then, but you will receive an interpretation to help you with a problem that you don't know what to do with. Or just to prophesy to yourself. How cool is that? Uh, let me know when you do it. I want to know what happens. Have a good day.